Hello. So that was my very bad impression of a German hello. I'm trying to sort of learn German. I probably won't be able to fully learn it um, for a plethora of different reasons. One, uh, it's really hard to learn a language as I'm finding out the older you get. So it's unfortunate that America, the United States, they don't teach languages at a young age unless you go to like a private school, but I went to public school where we only started learning languages the in high school. And of course, in high school, you really don't know the value of learning another language. But I'm going to Germany later this year, and so I don't want to look like a complete idiot and not know any of the most common phrases, like hello. So I'm going to try and learn some German, and I'm using this Duolingo language application, and it teaches me the weirdest phrases, like the phrase that I learned today was, uh, I feel sorry for the boy. I don't... When would you ever say that in normal conversation? I can understand, like, good morning and, um, please, but I feel sorry for the boy? Hmm. I don't know. Anyways, so we are going to do something different today and go in and you guys are going to tag along with me because today I hope that I'm able to pick up a Nepenthes ventricosa, which I saw yesterday, and I didn't know if it was a good deal or not because I'm not, you know, I'm not on the up and ups when it comes to purchasing carnivorous plants, but it was super, super pretty, and I wanted to see if maybe I could pick it up today. I don't even know if it's going to be here. There's actually a lot of people here, so we'll see how this goes. I've never done this before. So I'm sure I'll get some strange looks, but I thought it would be a fun thing to try out. And maybe if you guys enjoy it in the future, you can tag along with me in other videos and see the sort of things that I purchase and buy when I go to the garden centers, etc., etc. Um, it's really cold here today, which is why I'm wearing my hat and gloves. Mm. And I say cold. Did I say hot? I don't know. It's really cold here today, though. It's 46 degrees Fahrenheit. Sorry, I don't know what that is in Celsius. Off the thing in here. Oh, new angle. Ah, yeah. No makeup. Looking great. Ah. Okay, so let me just put this in here. Christmas music? Oh, this is a really good angle for me. Oh, okay, let's go in here. Ooh, gloves for hardware things and hoses. We don't need any hoses today, but they do have quite the selection of hosing. Wears. Ooh, pruning shears. I don't need any of those. Mm. Perlite. You're for all your potting needs. Let's, um. There's really cute pruners. People. Uh. Mm. Let's, let's go into the green. Now we're in the greenhouse. Okay. And it looks like they just got done watering in here. <gasps> Look at the cute little turtle. Guys, guys, there's a cute little turtle. A turtle. There's a cute little turtle in there. They've got so many plants here, but the one I'm after is the Nepenthes ventricosa. So. Let us see if we can find this Nepenthes ventricosa. 
Ah, wait. I think this is the one right here. Nepenthes. Let me put this in my pocket. Ooh, it is so cute. I think this is a Nepenthes ventricosa, but I'm not sure. They have a Swiss cheese plant. I feel really weird doing this. But look at these pictures, they're so cute! And the entire plant, and that's the price there. I thought it was a really good price. I don't even know if you guys can hear me or not. It's really loud in here. Which is probably a good thing too, because people might think I'm talking to myself, which I am. But, look at these pictures, and I think, I don't know, look at them all. They're so pretty! Ah, look how cute they are! So, I don't know, and this is a picture, looks like it's just forming, maybe? But look how big they are. They're huge! And they've got tons and tons of other plants. Ooh, ah, yes. Many, many succulents and other kinds of plants. I really liked this orchid there. Can you see it? Did you guys get a chance to see it? It's really, really pretty. There's also this Phalaenopsis over here that I really, really want, but they have it on, like, no man's land. I'll turn you guys around so you can see it. Did you guys see it? Maybe not. It has all the branches and buds on it and I thought it was really really pretty. Here's some Schlumbergera. Is that how Schlumbergera? I don't know, but they have tons of those as well. Look at all of these plants. Crotons and uh what's this one? This one looks fun. Alocasia. Oh, here's another Alocasia. Alocasia ebony. Pretty. Ah. And a cute little peace lily. Thank goodness I'm the only one in here. That's nice. Another turtle! Oh, look at the turtle! Turtle, turtle! He's so cute, I want him. More turtles! They're so cute! Oh, you guys, so this is like the coolest fern I've ever seen. It looks like crocodile skin. Can you guys? Oh, dropped you there. Doesn't it look like crocodile skin? It totally looks like crocodile skin to me. Ooh. I thought about getting one, and it's actually called a crocodile fern. How cool is that? Crocodile fern. I like these guys too. Maidenhair fern. Look how cute. Oh, and this one kind of looks like lettuce. Bird's nest fern. Ooh, bird's nesty. I like this one too. I think if I'm going to get like a leafy plant though, I'm going to get a, ooh, what is this? It doesn't have a tag. 
I hate that. Whenever plants don't have tags, that annoys me to no end. Uh, oh, I'm gonna get this staghorn fern. Isn't that cool? And I like this one because of the leaves. I don't know what I would get. Oh, that one's pretty. Look at the leaves on this one. They're all red. Pretty. And a phalaenopsis. I know the camera angles probably aren't the best. I also really, really like this zebra plant here. Can you see that zebra plant? Very cool. Another peace lily. This place... Hey! Oh, I'm just looking. Person. That was annoying. He just wouldn't leave. And now he's like, blowing things outside. So that's what that noise is. Hold on. Hey guys, so I am going to buy the Nepenthes and I'll meet you back in the car. Um, he's following me around like I'm going to steal something. Yeah. But I might come back and do another video on the crocodile fern. I love this thing. I want it. So let us reconvene in the safety of the vehicle. So that was really weird. The guy that asked me if I needed any help kept following me around and then he would grab a blower and blow some things around for a little bit. Ooh, people. And then he would just sort of be eyeing me, which was kind of creepy. I don't know if he thought I was going to steal something or if he was just wondering why I was walking around with my phone and talking to it. I don't know. But I didn't get the video that I exactly wanted because I wanted to show you guys some other things, but it was just really weird and awkward that he was following me. I don't know. It was kind of creepy. Um, but I did get the Nepenthes Ventricosa, which I hope was a good deal. I paid $20 for it, and I think it's a really, really super healthy plant. And I plan on doing more videos with you guys like this in the future if this is something that you guys enjoyed following me around and watching the plants that I was looking at. I really like that crocodile fern. I think I'll be back for that one. So I'm probably do another video on that. And I'm also going to be going to the shows. It's springtime almost just another few months and it will be spring so we can do follow me around tag along videos of the orchid shows and we can do tag along videos of me going to the different nurseries so I think it's something that will be really really fun and you guys can sort of see the thought process that goes into some of the things that I purchase like sphagnum moths or bark or pots and I think it'll be really really fun so I'm excited to do the videos with you guys and I want to show you the Nepenthes that I bought, but we'll wait until I get home to sort of bring it out because the pitchers are really full of that liquid that they produce. I don't know what it's called. So we will reconvene then when I have some... Oh, that was not good. Okay. <laughs> One of the little vines was in the vent that's blowing out hot air, so they probably didn't like that. Hopefully I have enough humidity to keep this guy happy. Because I've bought it towards more springtime, I think it'll do really, really well. I'll just put it outside uh, and we'll get to see all of the things that it catches. And yeah, so I will see you guys in a few minutes. So we are back home and here is the Nepenthes amongst my assortment of orchids. And I believe this is actually Nepenthes ventrata, which is a natural hybrid between Ventricosa and Alata. At least that's what I was told. And it does make sense because these pictures are really smooth and they're actually on the smaller side. So you can see, I think this is the biggest picture. Picture, hmm, picture. This is the biggest picture here, or maybe this one 
here. But either way, I'm happy with it. It is super, super healthy, and hybrids, uh, even natural ones, are much more vigorous than the individual species. So hopefully it'll be much easier for me to take care of since it is a hybrid. Alrighty guys, so if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and you know, give me ideas if you liked this video and want to see more like it in the future, or if you didn't like this video and don't want to see more like this in the future. So as always, I will see you guys later, and you can subscribe to this channel, like me on Facebook, and follow me on Twitter.